Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jerry Cooey. I'm Deborah Nelson. And once again, you have found us on channel 27, Mediacom, and you can watch our show every Saturday, 4.30 to 5. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this will be a continuation of the last show, and uh, I just want to personally thank uh, Mr. Gandhi. I, you know, there, I, I will have to say, and, and Mr. Gandhi tells us that he watches our shows, uh, uh, Mr. Gandy, there was a lot of people that, that told us that you probably wouldn't sit down for an interview. And I, I just, you know, I want you to, to know that uh, we appreciate it. I think uh, uh, we certainly learned some things from you, and and, uh, and I hope you learned some things from us. So. We've got some good answers. Got some got some good answers. And, and certainly, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, our viewers can decide on, you know, the questions were asked, all the burning questions that, that, that were there. Uh, this week's show is a little more a continuation of Mr. Gandhi and talking about the, the military efforts and things of that nature. So uh, we'll go ahead and roll that tape. Now, we were out recently at the Whiting Aviation Park site, mm -hmm. and it's heavily treated, it's, un it's undeveloped. Mm -hmm. um, Santa Rosa County recently spent $3.1 million dollars on the Pullum Park, uh -huh. uh, and there's now a concern that there's no money left over. If if this runway opens up and uh, various aviation-related businesses want to come in, uh, is there going to be a problem finding the money to develop this area? You know that that's probably a, a good question uh, for the county county board mm -hmm. uh, because they know what uh, we, money's we've there. Asked them to. <laughs> Have they told you? Yeah, not well. Uh, I know that there's a replenishment of that fund on an annual basis. Mm -hmm. uh, exactly what that number is, I don't know. Okay. Uh, but in attracting tenants in there, uh, we expect these to be paying tenants mm -hmm. to come in. So uh, that would be offset uh, to some degree uh, by the fact they'd be paying a lease payment to the county mm -hmm. uh, to have access to be there. What kind of what kind of infrastructure would have to go in there? Well, basically from what I know uh, at this point is they would have to have a, a ramp space mm -hmm. uh, in order to uh, bring aircraft uh, uh, to the hangar. They would have to have a uh, taxiway mm -hmm. uh, that would be constructed from that ramp to the Navy property and to the taxiway. Uh, there would also have to be a road uh, access uh, from uh, Marty Martin Way uh, mm -hmm. into the park. And that's my understanding of what, what the requirements would be. Okay. What the cost on that might be, I don't know if anyone's done any engineering work uh, up to this point to give a, a definite uh, uh, estimate of the cost, mm -hmm. but uh, that's, that's okay. what would have to be well, Would there be a need to plat properties and, and get areas ready for somebody where they, they could be quote unquote shovel ready to move in? I think uh, there would be discussions probably with the first tenant uh, that would express interest as to what their needs were, mm -hmm. and then the development would proceed based on what their what their needs are, mm -hmm. and then if others uh, had uh, additional needs, then those would be accommodated at the time. Okay, and and just going back again to the the pull and park deal, and I know you weren't involved in that uh, for a second, but there was a a public perception that a lot of stuff went on behind the scenes, and there were negotiations behind the scenes and, and, and stuff like that. And I just wanted to ask you again as a former board member and just in your position as military affairs liaison, um, should the public be allowed to be sitting in on these meetings and, and to have a say in these negotiations that go on behind the scenes, whether it's for military affairs, business, or, or something else? Let me say that uh, during my time on the board, uh, Team Santa Rosa, uh, even as chairman of the board going back to around 2000, I was never involved, and to my knowledge, board members were not involved in those negotiations. Uh, those discussions or negotiations were taking place uh, directly uh, between the county and uh, you know the party. Uh, so I don't have any first-hand knowledge uh, I got you. of those those okay. discussions. Okay, um, Mr. Gray, again, the president of Team, has indicated he thinks that uh, there may be exemptions that pass the legislature this year that would um, once again close meetings and some public records from economic development agencies to the public. And I just want to ask you, on the military affairs side, would you, would you still um, 
support keeping those meetings open? Well, again, I'm a consultant, uh, right. not, not an employee, right. and I don't work directly uh, uh, for team or for the uh, for the county board. I'm not their employee. Uh, it would probably be inappropriate for me to express opinions one way or the other as a consultant. Okay. Can I ask you what you sure. what your reaction was when you heard that the governor had had told team they had to open their meetings up? What was your reaction there? My reaction was, let's open it up. Okay. Let's talk about the tanker. Yes. That's was coming to Mobile and then it wasn't, and then it was. What's the status on that? The latest uh, that uh, I know, uh, as you know, about a year ago, the tanker contract was awarded mm -hmm. to North of Grunner. Uh, Boeing was the other bid, uh, bidder for that, uh, for that tanker contract. Uh, because uh, North of Grumman did receive the award from the Air Force uh, for the about 189 uh, replacement tankers. Mm -hmm. Boeing filed a, uh, uh, I guess, their, their opposition to the way the, uh, uh, the award process was handled. Uh, they had questions about uh, some of the criteria that uh, was used to, to make that selection. Uh, that triggered a GAO investigation uh, to determine if the uh, bid was, uh, specifications were followed uh, completely. Uh, that uh, results of that came back. Uh, the Air Force decided that they were going to pull the award of the contract to North of Grumman, which was a big disappointment to everybody in this area, and certainly Mobile. And they decided they were going to uh, rebid the contract. Because it was so late in the year, uh, the Secretary of Defense decided that it would not be appropriate to try to rush this thing through and, and uh, rebid and, and make a selection prior to the new administration coming in since they would have to fund it. So that uh, was, was put on hold until the new administration did come in. Uh, since then, there have been discussions about, well, maybe the solution to it is a dual contract where uh, Boeing would get half the tanker and Northrop Grumman would get the other half. Uh, from what I hear at this point, uh, I think this is going to be a political decision, how this thing is resolved, and uh, the political decision would be to split the buy. So I think that will happen. Uh, I would be surprised if Northrop Grumman got the entire contract. How would it impact Santa Rosa if they split it? <clears throat> well, it, you know, it, certainly if the entire contract came uh, to Mobile, there would be a lot more... Uh, uh, economic uh, positive fallout than if just half of it came. But even with half of it coming, with the uh, contractors and subcontractors that would have to uh, relocate uh, into the area to support the uh, uh, building of these tankers, uh, there would be what they call secondary and uh, tertiary level contracts that could not be located directly in Mobile, but they would want to be within, say, 100 miles. Uh, what kind of industry are we talking about here? Well, you're talking avi certainly aviation-related industry. Uh, you know, when you build a, uh, an aircraft like the uh, KCX tanker, as sophisticated and as, as that is, you've got literally hundreds of contractors that are bidding on the electrical portion of it, the skin fabrication, the engines, the avionics, the, so you, you've got the whole gamut. So it would be manufacturing? It would be manu work. manufacturing and assembly type. And they would need to be close enough so that uh, shipping it uh, for final assembly would not be a problem. Uh, we think Santa Rosa County would be ideal, ideal, uh, ideally located uh, for those types of uh, businesses that may not be, uh, have to be there on a day-after-day uh, -day basis in Mobile, but could do their work here and then have rail access or highway access uh, to get their 